welcome to another episode of Poker Counter Poker, where we discuss the most interesting and perplexing issues that poker players have today. Absolutely. T today's issue that we will be debating, I will be talking about how if you have $10,000 at your disposal, that you should only be playing one event at the World Series of Poker. And I will be telling you all why Robbie is horribly wrong. As always, that is the worst idea you could be having. So you're saying that you would be playing multiple if, events? If you have that amount of money, you want to split up your odds. You definitely want to be playing in as many different events as possible. You don't throw all your eggs in one basket. Do you know what that... Poker! Okay. Let's start now. The basket, there is only one basket, eggs in a basket, the main event. If you've got $10,000, you want to be playing on ESPN, the big stage, where you've got all of the coverage. You're going to talk about how you played next to the pros. I played sitting next to Negreanu. I played sitting next to Helmuth, the world champions. You know what? Counter poker. If you're, you know what they're going to be talking about? They're going to be talking about how you lost. There are so many people in that event. And guess what? For every one winner, there's over 6,000 losers. Okay? The idea of putting your eggs in one basket means if the basket falls, everything is lost. That's yes. stupid. It's, it's simple economics, okay? If you're going, I would rather own 1% of the profits of 100 candy machines than 100% of the profits of one. Because if that candy machine breaks down, you end up with nothing. Yeah, interesting analogy. Back to poker, sir. The fact is, Shimmy, can you name someone who won a $5,000 bracelet? $5,000 event bracelet. I didn't think so. Can you name someone who won a $1,500 bracelet? I'm not sure you can, right? Phil Ivey, the great Phil Ivey, has won 10 World Series of Poker bracelets. Not the main event. Counter poker, okay? How many main events has Phil Ivey bought into, okay? As uh, many as possible. Hashtag all of them, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> the reason why is because he's got a budget to do that. Okay. If you take your uh. entire amount of your entire bank and put it into one main event, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's the end of your poker career. Back you to poker! I thought, I'm glad you said ladies. If you are the last woman standing in any event that's not the main event, Will you get noticed? No. But everyone knows the last woman standing in the World Series of Poker main event that cost $10,000. Counter poker. No, 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 no. Okay. First of all, if you are a lady playing in a poker event, you don't care about the last woman standing because it's sexist and misogynistic. No one cares about that award. He you care point. about winning. Okay. Well, Maria Ho did and do guess, it twice, but yeah. And okay. guess what? When a female poker player wins any single poker player, any single poker, poker tournament, mm -hmm. any poker event, they get noticed. It's something, it, and everyone everyone puts the spotlight on them, especially the main event, And but that's definitely not a reason to take your entire bankroll and throw it into one event. Yeah, I don't know. The bottom line is I could probably name at least 20 World Series of Poker main event winners, and I know people who want other bracelets, but nobody really knows that. They're not on ESPN. They're not getting the coverage. That's what I think poker. Counter poker. Poker. Counter poker. And this is the show that we discuss the wonderful, perplexing issues that Leave are comments. Counter poker. That Leave comments that below. That are Back us up over here. Let Robbie know how wrong he is. I've been Robbie Straczynski. And I am Shimmy the Fish. And this has been Poker. Counter poker. PokerUpdate.com. Be sure to subscribe.